we are in places. Um, and there should be so. Oh. And we are live. Okay, this is amazing. And we have people. And we have faces, and we have faces that are with us that want to be seen, and then we have faces that don't want to be seen. And folks, we have the funniest thing happening tonight because I am one of the smartest realtors in the planet on here with us as we are live for, um, I'm cracking up because something is happening right now. You can probably all see it. This is not part of the script and Jasmine's totally baffled by this. <laughs> and uh, she's like, what's happening? And Thank you for coming, by the way. Thank you for watching live or on the replay. And thank you if you are in our audience, because uh, we appreciate you. And if you're watching and you like what you're seeing, go ahead, comment, show you're here with us, comment on Facebook, wherever you find us. And who are we and why are we here? Well, my name is Erica Rose Siegel, and I am with... I am Jasmine Yan, and I'm your super savvy shopper. And pretty much Eric and I are here because we thoroughly enjoy celebrating your successes. And that's why we have our web series, Celebrate Your Success Sundays, where we alternate sharing ideas, strategies, techniques, and information about how you can watch two of our favorite things, real estate and shopping. We want to yeah. make sure you're watching your wallet, right? Yeah. Yes. And like I said, if you have questions, you have comments, you need clarification, don't be shy. I love to talk, but this isn't about me. This is about you. Jasmine's been teaching for 18 years, and I officially taught in the classroom for, I don't know. Actually, I do know three years. I was a math teacher, so I do know. And I've been educating people about the real estate market for over 13 years. And I just, oh, where'd she go? We had our prime. This is really funny. Where did uh, Barbara go? I was kidding. Hopefully she come back. I wanted to make a joke about this because she has prime real estate and she's not here. Hopefully she comes back. Hold on, I'm super sad. Barbara, where'd you go? Come back. Come back, Barbara. And I love it, actually. So let me just acknowledge something. One of my friends is here, and she probably chose to log off so that to be kind, and I wanted her to stay. And this super funny part is, is when she hid her face, her real estate company logo was <laughs> on the, the camera and was going to be there for 30 minutes. And I really wasn't mad about it. I thought it was awesome. Like, how cool. <laughs> but she might have hopped off because maybe she thought that wasn't okay. And Barbara, it's totally okay. And hop back in whenever. Show your face. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. And we're going to proceed with questions. And we love you, Barbara, and everyone in our room. So, uh, Jasmine, um, I know at the beginning of the month, uh, we had actually said we, were, we decided to de dedicate a couple of our shows to sharing steps, techniques in regards to domestic violence situations, domestic violence situations. And I know that one of the topics you wanted to discuss was self-care, which is our topic tonight. What made you come up with this idea? Well, even though I know we originally started out with domestic violence awareness and self-care is really important in that because a lot of the times people who are in domestic violence relationships they end up losing themselves and they don't know how to really genuinely have self-care and take care of who they are they're super stressed with all aspects of their life and you know they go through so much especially with the aftermath of breaking up you know breaking off that toxic relationship and i want people to be aware that toxic relationships aren't necessarily like a romantic relationship we Ooh. each can have toxic relationships with our bosses, people in our families, oh. people in our community, right? Yeah. Coworkers, colleagues, those can all be toxic relationships. It doesn't necessarily need to be like, a, you know, a spouse, a boyfriend, girlfriend, a girlfriend, girlfriend, a boyfriend, boyfriend situation. But we need to keep in mind that no matter what, we need to take care of ourselves. So besides domestic violence, there's so many individuals out there um, that are dealing with so much and people, especially during this time, during this pandemic time, are going through so much stress in general and they are, everyone's facing so much trauma one way or the other. They're either overworked, overstressed or overtired. So this topic of self-care is important because just take a second and think all our, all of our, our viewers right now, how are you feeling today? Today is Sunday. I don't know about you, but Sundays are the worst days for me. Not because it's Sunday. Sunday I'm off, right? But the fact of the matter is, is that Sunday evening, around this time, 
I'm thinking about all the things I need to do this week coming up. Either for it be for work, either it be for business, either it be for me, either it be for my family, either it be for friend. You're always thinking about what's going to happen this week and what's coming up. You know, I'm, I'm not laughing at you and I'm more laughing at like the topic and the fact that we then decided to put this together and celebrate on Sundays instead of going to like holy bleep mode, right? Like, so I didn't know that that also faced you, but yet I was a teacher for three years. That totally faces everybody, I think, on Sunday nights, unless they really take some time for self-care. And I definitely really agree with that. A lot of people are overworked, overstressed, overtired, and truly are dealing with a lot of trauma. As a matter of fact, I'm curious, anyone who's with us, who's seeing this live or on Facebook, what are you feeling right now while watching this? And maybe it's humorous to actually be related to this, but if you've ever experienced any of those emotions, drop it in the comments. What's that emotion you feel on Sunday night? Be honest, you might actually be in a really great space, but if not, we wanna know about it because Jasmine's got answers, we've got answers, and we're here to serve. And we are truly dealing with right now a lot of trauma, a lot of stress because of these relationships, like you said, whether it's work or significant other or a family member or friend, whoever. And so before we begin talking about the strategies and the techniques, because this super savvy shopper who I renamed her as that could talk to us forever about those topics and answer a million questions. But could you define what is self-care? And what are some types of self-care people should be aware of? Yeah, I really think that a lot of people don't know what self-care really is. So just to define it, it's by self-care is defined by any intentional act of meeting one's emotional, physical, mental, or spiritual needs that you have pretty much. And I think a lot of people need to realize that self-care is not, is not being selfish. You know, I think a lot of people, I've had numerous conversations within the past couple of weeks and people truly think that self-care is selfish and it really isn't. And people need to remember that. Um, like I always say, and you know, Karen, is Karen, who's a viewer of ours, she actually was my uh, roommate, my college roommate and a high school friend as well. She's the first person that will tell you. She's a flight attendant for JetBlue and she will let you know that the first thing people, they always say, flight attendants, when if something was gonna happen and the air, the, those masks come out, put that mask on first before you help anyone else. Mm. And that's a key thing that you need to remember. Before you can help anyone, you need to take care of yourself. So, you know, there are, you, there are various types of self-care. Um, there's physical self-care, is, which is what do you do for your body? There's emotional self-care is what do you do for your feelings or your mental state? There's social self-care. What do you do for your relationships with your family and your friends, you know, coworkers? There's spiritual self-care. What do you do to keep yourself calm, relax? Um, there's personal self-care. What, what are you doing for yourself currently? And there's space, right? There's a self-care for space. Like what do you do for your home or your environment to make it special for you and calm and relaxing? And furthermore, there's, you know, financial self-care. How are you taking care of your finances? What are you doing for that? And work. What do you do for yourself when you're working? Because work is one of the most stressful things that are, that's occurring right now for tons of people. So all of these types can coincide with each other. And a lot of the strategies and techniques that I'll be talking about tonight can possibly go for just one of those types or inter interwined into multiple of, them, you know, a lot of them. So let's keep that in mind. You know, and Jasmine, you're really having me on Sunday night, like talk about celebrating success, hearing these different areas, the physical, actually, and I'm going to name them in a moment again, but you're really having me recognize the importance of focusing on each one ha and having all of us recognize, I'm sorry, don't mean to be selfish. <laughs> We're here for you. Um, but yeah, and, and I, I remember being taught that if one of the areas is like out of alignment, it's kind of like having a spokes on your wheel of, you know, your, on your tire when you're driving. 
And if a spoke goes out or is a little, you know, crooked or broken, I'm not a car person. I sell homes. Please forgive me for the analogy, just so we're clear. But your tire doesn't operate at full capacity. So when it's the same thing, you're talking about these topics. And I'd like to know for the viewers, whether you're watching live or on the replay, which area of your life do you want support in? Like, are you a little bit lacking in? Is it and, and which would, would you say you're strong at? We've got physical, emotional, social, spiritual, personal, space, or like your home or environment, your financial and your work. And you could put strong at this, weak at that. Strong at this, weak at that. There's no judgment. The cool part is when you do that, then Jasmine, the super savvy shopper, can customize something specific to you based on your needs. Because in a given week or month, things could change. And all of these types coincide, like you said, with others. And I know we don't have a ton of time. And I just want to know which one are you going to be talking about today so that this way we can kind of, and then we're going to break it down. We talked about go, going over this in a series because that's a lot to think about. And which are you going to talk about today? And what are those techniques and strategies that people can do to make sure they take care of themselves in those areas? Well, I mean, I really kind of want to talk about today was really geared towards personal and just emotional, right? Okay. Because right now there's so much craziness going on in, in people's lives. So before we begin even talking about specific strategies, the main thing that everyone needs to do to think about themselves mm -hmm. is have a self-care plan. And what do I really mean by that? You need to first think about who you are as a person. Are you an active person? Meaning you like to run, you like to do sports. Are you like more a homebody? You know, you like to stay in your home, make sure your home has a, is a nice environment. You know, it's, it's clean, organized. That gives you comfort. You need to know, are you a social person? You know, a person who loves being out, being with people, you know? Um, and that correlates to what your likes and dislikes are, right? You want to make sure that if you're taking care of yourself, you want to take care of yourself with things that you like to do, things that make you happy, things that bring a smile to your face, bring that things that make you feel calm and relaxed. And then also you want to think about if you're extroverted, introverted, because those when you're extroverted, like I said, you want to be out with people, you want to do things. But if you're introverted, you're fine with being at home. Maybe you want to just sip, sip a cup of tea, watch one of your favorite shows, right? That's the way you relax. Knowing who you are as a person genuinely can help you figure out your self-care plan. Mm. So just going into the topic of personal, um, personal self-care really is like, people don't even really think about this, but it's your personal routines. That is that comfort in doing everything and making sure that you are sitting there and really focusing on what makes you happy and what you have to do every day, that personal routine is important. Mm. Like when I wake up in the morning, I have a, a routine of what I need to go through before I go to work. You know, just keeping that in mind. Hobbies, things that you like, if you like to read, if you like to sew, if you like to, you know, do adventurous sports. Those are all important. Those are things that will make you happy. Being creative. I know personally, I love scrapbooking. Those are one of the things that I, I enjoy. I know I do it with Michelle, who's on, who's a viewer. Mm -hmm. We definitely have a great time and it's rewarding and relaxing. And, um, you know, just knowing like goals, having your goals. I know even with Amy, who's on, she loves to sit down, make lists, make goals. And these are things that people don't realize are self-care. You know, and on, on authentic, the, uh, I'm sorry, being authentic about it is really key. Mm -hmm. So just so people know, for personal, like I said, with routines, I'll give you an example. I have a routine every morning. I, you know, people know, if the majority of people on here know, and uh, you know, obviously, Erica, that I'm 40, I'm going to be 41 soon. For me, my skin is very important. I need to make sure that I look young, I stay looking young. So skincare routines for me is very, very key. People don't realize like if you just wear a mask, like, you know, I wear like, you know, a mask once a week to keep my skin tight really makes me feel good. You know, if you don't like face masks, you can even do like a volcanic mask. Those are important. 
And what I really love too, because, you know, right now during, you know, pandemic time, I love to get facials and do things like that. But I also like, and this is really good for everyone, even the guys, Eric, even the guys, a jade roller. A jade roller massages your face. And if you have, like, if you're tired, right, you didn't have enough sleep because you were working so hard or you have so much on your mind, your jade roller will get rid of puffiness under eye, your under eye puffiness. And if you don't have a jade roller, here's a tip to be really super savvy. You can just put two spoons in your refrigerator for like 10, 15 minutes and they will get so cold like a jade roller and you can put it right under your eye and they'll get rid of the bags. Yeah. Well, clearly I do not have a jade roller <laughs> and I do not also go for facials, just so we're clear. Yeah. The <laughs> so those are those things that really should, if you think about it, will make you happy. Those little routines, it relaxes you. You know, even for me wearing makeup, for the women out there, I, I know there's Eric here, but for the women out there, Keep in mind, I don't know about you, but when I put on makeup, I feel 110% better because one, I feel like I look good. And if I look feel like I look good, that means I feel good. So wearing makeup is really key. And you don't need to wear a lot of makeup. I'm talking about just like a lip gloss, you know, lip liner, having a perfect lip br makes your face, brightens up your face. L I would say genuinely like lip and mascara would really bring a whole new face, a whole new you. You know, having bubble baths. People don't do this because you think bubble baths are a waste of time. But sitting in your bathtub, relaxing with a good book, or even reading, looking at Facebook, if you're really like one of those individuals um, who aren't afraid of dropping their phone in the water, you could totally be just sitting there relaxed with a bubble bath, listening to good music. You know, all these things, if you want any makeup, any any face max, you can literally get it at Ulta. You can get it in Sephora. You can get it in Macy's, all these great places, right? And there's ways you can get a, a discount. There's always discounts and always coupons and definitely percentages off, especially during holiday season. So keep that in mind if you're looking for specific things. Um, also, weekend getaways. We're talking about hobby, hobbies. Weekend getaways, I know there's quite a few people who love to travel on here. Right now, even though during the pandemic, we can't go to a foreign country, but a weekend getaway is key just to unplug. Everyone's working so hard for everyone else, for your family, for your job. No one's thinking about taking time to spend just by themselves or with a special loved one or a friend, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, doing fun activities. Like I love going to archery. I love, and that's relaxing too, you know, like bow and arrows. Some people like this. I love it. Actually going to the gun range or going to the gym, going boxing. Let's out a lot of aggression, a lot of like pent up anger, right? You know, even running. I know Erica runs or she does gratitude walks every single day. That lets people relax and feel good about themselves because they're doing something that's fun for them. I personally love getting massages. Um, you know, getting a haircut. Getting a haircut is key. Recently, I know Erica got her hair colored. All that is self-care. You know, doing your nails, just your nails. Real guys, nails, what are we talking about? <laughs> guys get your nails too, Eric. You want to clean your nails, make sure it's looking nice, right? Um, and you can do all that on a cheap price. You can go to like Living Social, Groupon. Groupon and Living Social have tons, 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 tons of activities and things that you can get discounted for, discounted prices, right? Uh, to get a haircut, to do like um, like a, 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 what do you call one of, one of those rooms where you like, uh, can't think of it. Michelle knows what I'm talking about. Uh, escape the room, escape the I don't room. Know. Escape the room, right? So all those things are tons of fun. And that's self-care. It's making you feel relaxed. It's bringing joy in your life. You know, like I said, even getting a, a good book, a good book in Barnes and Nobles. For me, I love reading a book, like a hard book. You know what I mean? Like a real book, not on my Kindle or on my phone, but a real book is definitely always nice. Um, even dressing well. 
People don't realize like when you go out and you dress up, you feel better about yourself. That's all self-care, all self-care. Because the minute you walk out there and you feel like, wow, man, I look so good today. I'm put together. I have my favorite top on, my nice slacks that make my bottom look really good. You know what I mean? Like you walk out with a swagger. You feel good. And that's going to help you bring a positive day, you know? And you can get things like, I don't know where you guys like to shop, but definitely look at places because if you want to put be put together, feel good, you know, there's always Express, Ann Taylor, Anthropology, Banana Republic, Macy's, all these places, you know, and, and just to give you a little bit of an example, um, last year at this around, a little bit around this time, maybe we're over a little bit over a year now, but Favorite Erica, yeah, Erica right here, the Grateful Realtor that she is, um, she genuinely needed self-care. She she was telling me, we were talking and she was like, you know, I haven't been shopping in over a year. She was dealing with certain finances that she's mentioned before. And she just like, didn't know what to do. And in the real estate world, obviously, I guess Barbara could attest to this. You want to put a good foot forward. So you want to make sure you're looking good. You're feeling good. You want to have a new wardrobe because all that makes you feel good. Right. And literally, she told me this and her and I, during Labor Day weekend, we walked, we went to Express and she had a shopping spree. And with that shopping spree, I think we got like, I want to say at least 18 items, 18 items. It was a Labor Day, it was Labor Day. So there was a lot of Labor Day sales and I helped her save like an additional $100. No, oh, no, Jasmine, you're undercutting yourself. So I'm going to just like wrap this up with a couple of things. This way you hear what, what really a few things that she's missing. And I hope you don't mind, but sometimes we forget to highlight our own features and benefits. And like there is what she did is she had me think, okay, so what, like had me make a list. Like, what do I need? What is it for? And got organized and um, I'm sorry. What is your name? Your name is Fiona. You're welcome. Okay, let's go. Okay. We're on Zoom, okay, we're all on Zoom together. Sorry guys, I have a cat and she decided that at this time she's gonna be on Zoom too. So <laughs> she's coming over. And Fiona um, and Jasmine and I went shopping, Fiona stayed home though. And what we did though is we made a list and I felt so much better. So like part of this whole self-care routine having to do with whether it's domestic violence or just stress at home, you're like, oh God, I don't have time for this. I'm exhausted. I mean, half the people who said they were coming are not here and they, I know, need time for themselves. They need to take care of themselves. So, and then the people that I didn't even get a chance to invite because I'm busy doing me, I, I joked earlier, I don't, I don't, I don't wear makeup like straight up. Like I don't want to shut the light off because then I'll take a few minutes, but this Ring light is just, I don't have makeup on. Like, I don't take time. So, but Jasmine really took on taking care of me and having me sit and think. And imagine if you could have your own super savvy shopper who literally, like, will schedule a consultation with you. She'll sit down with you, whether it's Zoom or in person or over the phone, depending on, you know, where you are. And she'll figure out what do you need in this moment in those eight areas of life that she mentioned, spiritual, financial, emotional, you know, work. We all need stuff. And if you're not filling your cup and it's empty, like you're going to be dehydrated. You're going to be missing out in that area. So Jasmine is taking on as being the super savvy shopper, filling your cup, filling your cup in the areas that are that matter and putting helping you put your max oxygen mask on so that you can go care for others, whether it's in real estate, not real estate. I mean, you can do it in real estate, but I meant in your job or at home, or like your physical body, or maybe you have, you know, pets to care for. <laughs> and baby doll, we're not going to put our tushy on the screen because I'm on live video. So just please. Okay, thank you. Let me hold you. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, my God. So sad. I know, puppy. Okay. So she does do that. And I didn't want you guys to see all that. So, um, but yeah, I want you to know that it's, it's really great. And I want, there haven't been questions yet. And there's nothing, 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 nothing that's too silly or uncomfortable for you guys to ask. And um, I just want, I'm giving me as examples because it's literally, literally 
the easiest thing for you to work with her. And I put her website, she's mentioning all these websites. You don't go to her website. You don't go to Sephora or Macy's or whatever first. You go to Jasmine first, you use her link, then you shop through there and then you get money back. And then you get discounts. Like that's how it works so that you know, cause I don't got, guys, I don't, I, I don't have time to wear makeup. Do you think I have time to figure out discounts? Hell no. Um, so Jasmine tells me what to do. And she also makes sure that even with, like the areas you forget about these things that are so important. Like as you're, you know, dealing with your kids or you're, you're walking your dog or like uh, somebody at work is driving you crazy and you could like massage your face instead of going into Ben and Jerry's <laughs> or like you could ma massage. So I'm just, you know, is there anyone, I, I just wanted to add on those components cause I was going through hell and sometimes we think we're fine. But if anyone's ever heard that expression from Lisa Lieberman Wang, fine is not okay. Like it's really just a, it's a cop out for something else. So um, yeah, we have some great comments about Jasmine here too. Um, we'll be sure, to, <laughs> we'll be sure to repurpose those. Or maybe if we want to copy and paste those on Facebook too, folks, because we've got a great audience here that's literally tons of comments. And I want to give people space to ask questions. And I know um, if they have any, um, and if they don't, I think, let me just see if there was anything else I wanted to ask you. Cause I took a little, a few notes here. Uh, um, oh, wait, before you do, I did want to talk a little bit about more emotional as well. That's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emotional. Please, I have to Go for it. um, emotional remember is making sure you have coping skills It's stress management. Um, journaling is, is a part of that compassion, having compassion, even going to therapy. If you are super stressed out, going to therapy is important. You know, no one should be ashamed of it because in reality, you need an outlet. You need to let things out. So a lot of strategies, good strategies for this, and this correlates with work or, in, you know, just when you just feel overwhelmed and your head's going to explode, you know, breathing for a couple of minutes, meditating, listening to music, getting up and dancing, getting up and dancing in your own home is amazing. Um, you know, just have a little quiet time for yourself talking it out to people, like I said, a therapist or a friend or a family member. See, look, Erica's already dancing right now with Fiona. And, you know, just keeping in mind that if you feel overwhelmed, crying is okay. Crying is okay, 100%. Never feel like you can't cry because guess what? Crying tears is toxins in your body that you're mm -hmm. letting go of. Oh, boy. It's okay to do that. Um, you know, think about certain things before you talk, before you say anything, uh, having affirmations, personal mantras, making a list, making a gratitude list, like being, you know, thinking about what you're grateful for every day. And you can write it on a notebook, right? These notebooks you can get at Staples or a Dollar Tree store, you know, and what's one thing that I definitely like that I recommend for people, especially who have, um, sleeping issues or can't get to sleep. And I know Michelle, we talk about, you know, Michelle and I have spoken about it. Weighted blankets, weighted blankets make you feel comfortable. It makes you feel warm and relaxed. You can get a lot of those weighted blankets at Kohl's or Bed Bath & Beyond, some great places, you know, that you can get weighted blankets for. And it just makes you feel so comfortable. Mm. It calms you down. So it, I don't want to say alleviate stress, but it helps let the stress go, right? And sometimes if you're emotional, there's definitely, you know, essential oils. There's um, even like supplementation. Looking into that can really help. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of natural relaxers out there that you can use. And, um, you know, I'm just grateful to be here to even share all this knowledge that I've gained through my years and just helping people because genuinely I know Eric and I, the one reason why we started this show was to help people and just have really serious conversations with individuals that I know people aren't having. So we just really want people to know that we're here to share info and we're here to like help as much as we can and just have a forum where we can really just be real. Yeah. And real is what we are. And when I, when I'm going to, I'm going to definitely uh, piggyback off that comment because uh, as I got up, I mean, real, I realized I was dancing and behind me was a pile of papers and you could see it. And I was like, ah, they're going to know I'm not perfect. They're going to see 
that my home is not in order. And like, folks, we're real. Like, and I want you to know, I'm also chopping off my head here. So, um, and, and just those, those emotions, like wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you know, it's there, you're going to have these feelings. And if you're not taking care of those uh, feelings, those emotions, and we have uh, Raina watching through Facebook and next time we'll make sure you have the link. Cause I think maybe there was a mistake with the link. So next week we'll be back with a different topic. Um, same two awesome hopes, hosts, not hopes, um, lots of infinite hope. Right. But going back to like having things to hold your emotions, like, or to take care of your emotions and not have them like take over you, all of the things she was referencing, just to remind you, you're not going to want to go to Staples or CVS or any of those websites first. You want to go to her store and then order information. I'm sorry, order the products or order the gift cards or order the something. Jasmine will give you like a little, like a plan so that you can get something for you, for whatever you need. And I mean, weighted blanket, you could also adopt a cat, like just so you know, because she sits on me and she holds me in place. So when I'm stressed out, she doesn't let me go anywhere. So I just throw that in, you know, I'm sh and then you can get food from Petco or other places and Jasmine can get you a discount. So just throw in a little, since I know you're interested in being in the video, I figured I'd tell them about you. So, <laughs> and just, we're really, really, really grateful for anyone who's watching live or on the replay and for sharing this information and for trusting us. And you brought up also Miracle Mornings, which is super cool. I mean, you didn't bring up Miracle Mornings. You brought up morning routine. Yeah. And Barbara and I are part of this small accountability group, which is part of a big accountability group called Miracle Mornings. And you just got me like present and aware of how important it is to care for ourselves and honor that morning, which starts the night before, which for those of us who are going through stress sometimes, you sometimes think, hey, I'm too busy. I have to handle my finances, my family, my home's not in place, blah, blah, blah. And then you don't think you're worth it, especially when you're getting out of a tough relationship or you're up against the wall. Your employer is like pressuring you or your clients are pressuring you. There's some pressure. So you forget you're worth it. And I wanted to let us, let you all know wherever you are, that you're worth the time. You're totally totally worth the self-care and it's not selfish and we like we might be silly at times but it's a serious topic for you guys to know man woman husband child whatever why I don't even know what I was saying all those family dynamics <laughs> they're worth it I definitely my self-care is a little out so I'm super grateful for this reminder um and I just want to check in Jasmine were you reading the chat while I was you know doing anything yeah. I mean I don't, were there, were there questions or it was like, no, there wasn't, there weren't any it was just awesome comments about Jasmine. That's what I noticed, but I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. So anyone who's writing awesome comments on the chat, if you want to copy and paste them and put them onto Facebook, because then see, the thing is we work by referral and word of mouth. So if you post them on Facebook, then people watch and then it rises. So I'm just giving you some social media, like education. This is free. There's no cost. So it rises, rises up, right? Rise, raise the roof. And then, um, you know, we might have some awesome gifts for you because I feel like I have gifts floating around. I forget to hand them out. So, um, you know, if you have something in mind or you want to meet someone special and we haven't introduced you to them, let me know because that could be a great gift just in turn for introducing people to us and elevating our, uh, our show. So no questions for now. Um, and Jasmine's available. We're going to drop her information in the comments. Um, and Jasmine, you've given so much you know, valuable information. Actually, I'm going to check, you know, Facebook really quick because I think someone was writing. So I'm going to see, and I definitely know you've given out so much. Uh, at least one person is writing or she was telling me she was writing and I might not be good at this. So if I'm messing up, the info is great. How to save money in a pandemic. Oh, that info. Wow. There's a, oh, okay. She's writing a book. Raina, I'll respond more to this later, but apparently you can see that I looked down while I do that. So I, I think we even made the rule. We wouldn't look down. So I broke my rule. Um, <laughs> Jasmine, I think uh, we're going to wrap up because we don't got questions. We just got awesome people. So thank you. Awesome people. And if people want to reach you and if they like, 
who do you want to meet? Like, who is a good introduction for you so we can help get your message out? Well, I mean, I definitely um, always love to meet people, anyone who wants to save or loves, you know, deals, anyone who has had a life changing event in their life, right? Because I'm here to help you. Um, if you want a personal shop or someone to go with you, I'm here to, I'm here for that. Definitely. I can do that for you. Um, you know, person, people who are having babies, people want to buy a home, getting divorced, anyone, even anyone who, who gets, who wants to get out of debt because saving a lot of money does help you get out of debt and everyone and anyone who just wants to gain knowledge about saving or wanting to learn how to make this, what I do, their business is fabulous too. Um, you know, and if you want to learn more and get a free watch your wallet analysis, definitely text privately message me. Uh, I'll be your super shabby shopping consultant. My number is 845-527-8411. You can also find me on Instagram uh, at the living, it's called living the jazzy life. And on Facebook, if you're my Facebook friend, great. You know, you can contact me there and you can email me at jazzyan4 at gmail.com. Fantastic. And by the way, I also wanted to know, I just thought about this right now. That if you wanted to give a gift to a family member or a friend or a colleague, a customer or a client, you can give them Jasmine. Because um, you see, the thing is, she literally could help save, I don't want to say their life, but like, honestly, like she could help save their dreams. Like whatever is going on in their world, whatever that area in that wheel of alignment from health, finances, family relationships. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting things. I'm actually going to look at that tonight because she... Um, she, uh, I have a, she told me about it. She shared it with me earlier and I was like, wow, that's really cool. So I can share it with you. If you want those topics, you're, you're welcome to message me privately or comment on the link below and say, Hey, I want those eight topics. So, you know, to focus on, and then you have an agenda. You can do one a week for eight weeks and maybe schedule eight consultations with Jasmine about each topic. I mean, just thinking, um, why not? Or give a gift to someone else you love and care about to have a consultation about how to improve that era of your life and save money and earn money at the same time. And so here's the thing. We've got her information. We'll also drop that in the comments below on Facebook later on. And for all of those who are watching with us live or on the replay, they're in the awesome Zoom room. Thank you for being here. We see your comments. We appreciate you and what you say really matters. And if there's something that you didn't get to say and you want to ask later, reach out to Jasmine, reach out to me. Uh, and f definitely, if you wouldn't mind commenting on the post so other people can see this video and let us know who you want to meet, because as a thank you, we're happy to do the introduction. And next week's topic is how to keep your heart intact while either your home or your career or possibly your relationship is falling apart. Let me say that again. Next week's to hot topic really is how to keep your heart intact while well, maybe your home, your career, or your relationship is falling apart. And uh, basically to help you keep hope in your heart when some of those things might not be, you know, all in order. And this is, uh, thank you, Jasmine, and thank you for all of you. Uh, my name is Erica, Erica Rose Siegel. I'm your Grateful Realtor, signing off for now and not forever. See you next week at 8 p.m. for our Celebrate Your Success series while we share all thing where not while i guess both <laughs> where and while we share all things you know you don't know that you need to know about shopping and real estate until next time we love you we appreciate you and we will see you soon thank you everyone for coming bye bye guys